Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures. Alright, today this is probably going to be the simplest lure you can ever paint. But it's one of the most coolest. And I'm going to show you how to use two paints and make one of the coolest baits out there. Alright, okay, so the colors we're going to use is opaque black. And we're going to use this Vallejo Shifters. Electric blue intense violet. Alright, and it's amazing what this stuff does once you put it over black. Now I've tried it on a few different colors. Some of it works pretty good. Purples work really good. Um, browns work really good. And I've got a whole set of them. You get the whole set at Hobby Lobby for like 25 bucks, I think is what it is for you, these little bottles. And you get like six colors in there. This one is called um, Space Dust is the one set that I got. I actually got another set that I haven't even opened yet, but um, I was going to play around with the space dust and see what colors they work good on. Um, but this one, this one, I did this one on on black and it looks freaking amazing. So I'm going to show you that today. You notice I didn't, haven't pre-primed any baits because we're only going to need black. We're going to coat this baby down with black and give it a nice black solid color and uh, we're going to see what this, this does. I'm telling you it just looks awesome and I know there's some other painters out there that are using this black or this Vallejo sorry I didn't mean to hit the camera there I'm going to go over top of it um, they're using this Vallejo and it is just awesome it's awesome painting and I'm going to show you another little trick in the next couple videos um, that you can do with it. It's just pretty awesome. It's worth the money. You don't need very much of it at all. You just need a few, few little drops in your brush. And as expensive as it is, you want to you want to use it sparingly because you don't want to leave it. You don't want to have a bunch of waste with it, so um, use it sparingly, and it should last you for quite a while. You only need just enough in the bottom of your bowl just to feed the needle, really. Oops, sorry, getting out of the camera. But we're priming this guy down with black. I'm going to clean out my brush real good. Actually, I think I'm going to use a different brush. Um, so I don't get no contamination from the black but uh, yeah this is going to be the simplest coolest bait you've ever seen and I hope it shows up on camera the effects and if you've painted with this before you already know but if you haven't go get you some of this pretty awesome stuff all right I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit um, and I'll clean this brush out and I'll bring you right back okay we'll give this time a few minutes to dry while I cleaned out the brush um, you can see I got a nice black black only primer on there and it's uh, Createx opaque black all right and uh, you could probably put some pearl on it if you wanted to make it a little more pop. Um, I think the first one I did, I did use some pearl. But I wanted you just to see the effects of this without any pearls in it. Alright, so there we go, Vallejo. We're using the Electric Blue Intense Violet. Alright, so I'm going to put a few little drops in there. And that's it. Because it ain't going to take much. Alright, and like I said earlier... Make sure you clean out your brush, pull your needle out, wipe it all down, everything, because this stuff will dry like varnish on here. So, all right, now we're just going to give it a nice little coating. 
and I hope you guys can see that in the camera it's already shifting the purples and blues can't wait to see what it looks like in the water I haven't put one of these in the water yet Kind of got a little candy smell to it too, not candy like Createx candy, like a can just a candy smell. Alright. That's it guys. I hope you can see that on the video on the camera, because uh it just it's crazy how cool looking this stuff is. And uh we're gonna put some eyes on this and epoxy it and then uh, we'll see what it looks like after that it's really going to pop that out of there but i hope you can see the shifts of purples and blues and blacks it's freaking awesome all right um i'm going to let this dry and then we'll put some eyes on it and we'll get the epoxy on it and uh, like i said simplest bait you ever paint right here all right let me bring you back Okay, we've had some dry time here. Now, um, I think I'm going with this little orange, this little orange iridescent eye right here. It's really going to stand out, pop off of that blue and black. I think I best thing to do is like when you want to check eyes is get an eye on the tip of your knife right there and just kind of hold it up like that and see how it looks and just see how well it fits. And I think. I always like my eyes to contrast a little bit, just really pop out. I think it just adds some beauty to the bait. I was going to go with the silver and blue, but I think I'm going with this orangey, orangey red color. I think it's really going to look a little, a little crazy on here. And normally I super glue. But right now my super glue is all dried out, so I gotta go to Wally's and get some more super glue. But for this bait, I figured I would just show you what it's gonna look like. Look at that. That looks really cool. Alright, let's get another one on there. that that looks awesome all right i'm gonna get some epoxy on it and i'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up okay friends we're back and uh this is the final purple midnight and this is number cc074 so yeah i think it turned out really awesome one of the easiest baits you'll ever paint um and the blues i hope they're showing up on the camera the blues and purples are just crazy how it takes that black and and gives that uh, color shifting transitions all right so colors we used very simple opaque black is our primer and then we used the Vallejo the shifters electric blue and intense violet 77004 and uh, yeah I'm real happy with it I can't wait to kind of throw it around and see how it does I think the eyes really stand out too. I think I did a good choice on the eyes. We'll see. But appreciate everybody's support. I know this was a quick video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Smash that like button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up our next video. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends.